this video, I'll show you how to create a simple scene. A scene is a cloud-based automation which allows you to control devices, groups, and send your notifications. Scenes can be triggered by sensors, inputs, the weather, and they can be time-based. Scenes are straightforward and very intuitive to set up. So, let's go ahead and try it. First, go to control.shelly.cloud in your browser or use your smartphone app or tablet. When you have logged into your account, you will see your dashboard. Go to the room where you would like to make your automation. In this case, I will go to my hall. In my hall, I would like to make an automation which turns on the light when there's motion. So pretty simple, but I would only like to turn on the light if it's dark inside the room. Press on scenes and press on the plus icon to create a new scene. Give your scene a name. Like this. Of course, you can pick a shorter name. Pick a picture or upload your own picture if you want to do that. Click the next button and now you have to pick the room where you would like to store your automation. Click next again. And now you have to add your win condition. Win condition is when something happens. So in this case, when there's motion, the win condition can also be based on when another automation runs, based on sunrise and sunset, time-based, and based on weather forecast. I'll use the device-based condition, and now I need to find my Shelly motion sensor. So I go to my hall, I will pick the sensor I would like to use as a trigger, and now I have to select the device property. So this sensor can detect motion, it can detect vibration, it can detect luminosity and temperature. It can also activate the scene based on the battery level. So I will pick motion as my detector. I have to select now if I would like to trigger the scene when there's motion detected or when there's no motion detected. Down here you can select the condition type. The condition type can be once, so once the device detects motion. You can also select a valid time for this condition. So for example, if you want motion to be detected for five minutes before you would like to activate this condition. I don't want to do that as I would like my sensor to turn on the light immediately. I can also select on any change and repeatedly. I will go ahead and use once as my condition type. Click save. Now you are able to add AND conditions and you are able to add OR conditions. So in this case, I only would like the sensor to turn on the light when they're stuck inside the room. So I'll go ahead and select an AND condition. My AND condition will also be device based. I will actually just find the same motion sensor because this motion sensor also detects uh, the brightness level inside the room. So I'll pick luminosity as my second condition. Now I can select when it's dark, when it is twilight, or when it is bright. I'll use dark. Now my scene will only trigger when there's motion detected and when it's dark. I can also add another condition to trigger the scene. So for example, if I would like to be able always to turn on the light from a wall switch, I could basically add this here as another condition. I will try to do this. My wall switch is also a device based scene. Inside my hall I have a Shelly Plus i4 device which is an input module behind my wall switch. So I will select my wall switch number one, the first input of my Shelly Plus i4 device. My Shelly Plus i4 is set up as a push button which means that it can detect when there's a short push, when there's a long push, when there's a double short push and a triple short push. I will use the short push to be able to turn on the light. Click save. So now I have two different wind conditions to this scene. When there's motion detected and when it is dark or when the wall switch has been short pushed. 
click next button. So now I have to select what should happen inside my room when one of the conditions is met. I'll add an action. The action can be device based. It can be a group action. It can be a notify action, which means that I can get a push notification or email notification. I can also make Alexa give me a notification. I can also activate another scene. In this case, I'll just turn on my lights. So I'll go and find my Shelly dimmer inside my hall to turn on my light and press the save button. Click the next button. Now I have to choose the active time, which by default is every day in the week, all hours a day. I will enable the scene, but I don't want to execute the scene. Press save. Now you can find the scene here inside the room. If you press on the picture of the scene, you'll get a quick overview about how is this scene working? So you can see here that it says once again when the motion sensor is detecting motion and when it's dark or when my wall switch is short pushed, then the light will go on. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.